Hi guys, I'm here today with a new pack of samples. So this time it's uh, the manufacturer Filamentive that sent me some filaments to try out. So they do this really cool material that is recycled but has another quality that the normal recycled materials. So as you might know some lower budget uh, brands may include almost only uh, recycled filament and therefore they have a little bit of varying uh, quality. But Filamentum is a high quality uh, producer and manufacturer and they sent over some um, orange uh, pet G or pet, um, recycled pets, so our pets. And then they also sent over some carbon fiber material, sounds pretty cool, and some uh, recycled PLA as well. So recycled pets, carbon fiber and recycled uh, PLA. started with one of the boxes. By the way, sorry for the volume. I'm using this mic today. I seem to lose all my mosquito mix or tiny mix. So first off, I, I opened this before just to see how, how it was, but uh, they do a vacuum packing on, on the top of the carton and also on the inside, so on the filament itself. So you can see the, the filament spool. So in this case, it's one kilo of the recycled pets. One kilo, that's awesome. I'm probably gonna do, be able to do a lot of testing before the verdict falls. Um, some of the other manufacturers that sends material send a little bit too little, but, but these, these ones should be much easier to get started with. So this is how it looks, one kilo of our pet orange in uh, 175 millimeter diameter. Um, you have a batch code here, so it's easier to follow up on support cases. Other than that, I don't see any um, print settings, so I'm just going to go from the, the normal print settings for each machine and start off there and see what, what we can find tune. So, um, it seems really interesting. I really love the color. It's a really strong orange, opaque. There's no... doesn't seem to be any transparency at all. So, great. We have that one checked out. Let's just have a look at the other ones as well and see how they look. Equally cool. I'm just going to remove the first packaging here and we open up. And here we see the uh, PLA, so recycled PLA. I think this color looks really nice as well. Really strong red, opaque red. Awesome. And last but not least, we have the carbon fiber. So let's just snack this open. So this is 750 grams, a little bit less, but it uh, feels really firm. Um, the, the color nice, is nice as well, it's really strong black color um, compared to other carbon materials. Uh, this is a little bit more, um, a, a little bit more um, black, how do I say, yeah, a little bit more texture on it, a little bit more texture on the color. So that said, let's go on testing. So I'm going to try these out on the Flashforge Finder, Flashforge Dreamer, Replicator Desktop 5th Gen, uh, Replicator 2X, and made the Duplicator i3 since it's a really good budget machine and it's really common. So plenty of material, plenty of printers, shall we? Okay, so we're running the test here for full. We're printing with a six right here. And we're then printing the filamentive uh, R recycled PLA right now in the desktop here. Looks really good. And of course, we're doing the carbon fiber here in the Flashforge Dreamer. It's really good as well. You can see here the filamentive carbon fiber pet G combination. Pretty cool. And on the Duplicator i3, I'm just starting the first print of the, um, uh, the recycled pet. It looks a little bit, a little bit messy here. I think that's the raft. I haven't leveled the bed, so that's a problem. 
But looking at the previous prints from the Pet G, I think that looks really, really good. Yeah, and also this tray here, the big one is printed. So, we're now done with a lot of testing. Um, I've been doing a few parts, so I had three filaments. I have some more carbon fiber uh, running at the moment. So, carbon fiber models. Carbon fiber is really cool. It's actually PET G or PET G, uh, PET G, depending on how you say it. So, PET G, a combination with a lot of carbon fibers um, uh, material. So, I had a little bit of an um, issue with the beginning to. Uh, I basically had a cooler on, which was a bad idea, which I have for some of my other PLAs, uh, sorry, carbon fiber materials. So that was a kind of bad idea, but other than that, it's really, really strong, really nice, has a good sound to it. So really, really strong, nice uh, PETG material. It's also heat resistant, um, up to uh, something around 80 degrees, which is uh, pretty good for PETG. Uh, so with that said, Carbon fiber out of the way, really good material, I really like it, good color and everything. We have the um, PET, uh, or sorry, R PET, which is recycled PET uh, plastic. And it's uh, also really vibrant color, so you can see here, uh, good orange color. Hopefully the color balance here is correct. Um, but it looks really good. No uh, issues of warping, it's really, really low warping. You can see here I did this big model, I'll show you here. On the uh, in the Fashers Dreamer. Uh, actually my fault that I kind of tried to bend the side here upwards before the print uh, was actually cooled down. So that's why we have a little bit of warping here. You can see the image is just completely flat over uh, 25 centimeters width, which is really nice. And uh, the color here as well, it's a, it's a little bit glossy, but not too bad. Uh, I think it looks really good. And then moving on to the um, to the red recycle PLA, so RPLA. This is actually my favorite. It, it's really easy to print. Um, it's strong. It has some good, really, really good opaque color. Something that I have issues finding usually uh, all over the place. So you can see here on some of the beauty shots, this new car chassis is, is, is made with that color. Uh, I think it looks really good. It's really, uh, really nice finish to it. So it's a good, Good material. So overall, I'm really happy with all the materials, both PLA and, um, and carbon fiber and PETs. They all um, pass the test. They pass the test of warping, they pass the test of easy enough uh, to get going with. Of course, you're going to need to have to do some, some fine adjustments, but it's really, really easy to get going. And um, they look good, the colors are nice. They're fairly priced. Uh, if you look in the, in the, by the, the description, you will see some of the prices um, on their link. I think there is a sale right now. Uh, but it's a really, really good material and they're made in UK, so it's uh, within Europe. Free shipping? No, not free shipping. It's toll free. But if you live in the US, I think they have a shop and, and ships from there as well, so you don't have to worry about that. I think, don't quote me on that. Um, so just yes, check out the link and um, I give this um, this supplier a filamentive um, 
I give them a really good grade because this is a really good material. Um, I like, to, as I said, the colors in real life look really, really good compared to most other things that I see. And uh, at that price point, and the actual uh, reason um, that they're called R is that they're re recycled. Not the carbon fiber, but the RPLA and the R PETs are recycled. So that's actually really, really good. And they have, of course, normal PLAs and, and PET as well, and some nylons, flexibles, and so on coming up. So, um, good job, Filamentum. I really like your material, it's really good. I hope you enjoyed this video, hope it gives you some, um, some more knowledge about the material. And um, other than that, let me know if you have any questions. If you buy the material, you want some help with some uh, settings or my best practice settings, just let me know and we'll sort something out. Cool, have a good night, bye.